Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about chivalry and feminism and whether the two things are incompatible. I definitely consider myself to be a feminist in that I believe in gender equality, um, especially of equality of opportunity, not always of conditions because we can make different decisions and I think gender equality should exist or opportunities, equal to opportunities should exist for everyone, but not everyone um, makes the same decisions in life. I don't really believe in filling quotas to satisfy certain criteria. I do believe that things we should have what we have based on merit. And also I am, I actually love chivalry as well. So sometimes the um, acts of chivalry can feel like they are anti-feminist, but I think um, I can understand why men might be less inclined to, um, to uh, indulge in these acts of chivalry. So I'm just going to read to you what the definition of chivalry is. This is according to the Collins Dictionary. It says, Chivalry is polite, kind, and unselfish behavior, especially by men towards women. Mm. So in my daily life, I um, encounter lots of chivalry. I go to a private members club every day. And often when I'm going up in the lift, the men will let me get out of the lift before they do, or they might open doors for me. Um, and then other acts of chivalry could um, include things like giving up a seat on public transport, opening doors, I just mentioned. I can't believe, I can't, oh yeah, umbrella, holding an umbrella for a woman, letting her, letting her go under the umbrella with you. And then also, um, if you're in a restaurant, they might fill your glass, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I read that in a, in a gentleman's um, blog about filling the glass, but that's something that I would also do for someone else. I wouldn't think about that being something that the man has to do. For example, if I wanted to fill my glass because I am thirsty, then I would also I would always fill the other person's glass before mine. Doesn't matter what gender they are, and I would fill mine last. That's nothing to do with chivalry. It's just about being being polite. And and yeah, so I really enjoy these acts of chivalry. I enjoy. I, I feel like it's. Um, I do like being taken care of. And also in my in my life, I have um, indulged in femdom, like um, the dominant, <laughs> the kind of BDSM where the female is dominant, and there can be lots of um, acts of worship and adoration, which might be a, a little bit of a sidetrack there. But we're talking about day to day normal um, normal behaviour here, so nothing uh, nothing sexual or kinky. But I do love um, that the chivalry. Or, or, some, or also a man putting a coat on for you or helping you to put your coat on. I don't think it's patronizing or saying that I cannot do those things. However, I have spoken to some friends about this, some female friends, and they were they did find it a bit insulting that they couldn't, um, they, they, th they thought that they can open the door for themselves. They don't need a man to do it for them. And, and a, a friend of mine said just the other day, she was at home and she had a male friend there and she was, pumping up the tires on her bike and the guy said would you like me to do it for you and she was like no I'm strong enough to do it myself whereas for me I'd be like yeah you can do it I don't really feel that those kind of things challenge my individuality or my um my feminist status not so not at all I think feminism is also about choice and sometimes um, there are elements of femininity that I do embrace and I do like, but at the end of the day, I'm an independent woman and I like to be in charge of my life. I don't feel that I need a man. I am independent, but I definitely enjoy men. I love men. And that's something I really find frustrating about the word feminist and feminism in general. I think some people misinterpret it to mean man-hater, which is just so not the case. It might, it might, there might be a small percentage of women who do feel like that, or they kind of oppose the patriarchy, but that's something that, the patriarchy is also something that kind of affects men as well in a negative way. But I love men, absolutely love men. I have amazing male friends who, who I just adore, and they have really restored my faith in masculinity as well. I love masculine energy as well. I really do love that. And I do feel that chivalry is an act of masculine energy and it definitely makes me feel um, feminine and appreciated and seen. I really like that. But I don't think, I don't think it's, um, I don't perceive it as something that is making me feel that I am not capable of any of those things. 
And I wanted to go um, to explain a story that I, um, something that happened to me when I was um, quite young, a lot younger, actually. I was, a st- I was a student and I had a boyfriend who um, wanted to really take care of me a lot. And I, I loved it. And um, there we, we were doing long distance relationship between London and Paris. Whenever I was in London, um, you know, if you get out of the underground, you have to put your ticket in the machine as you go out, not just for when you enter the underground. Because I'm so messy, I was always looking in my bag and thinking, where is the ticket? Where, where I put it? So as he's, we had to wait for me to find my ticket, um, he would always um, actually take my ticket when I put it through the, the machine, So because so, he was a lot tidier than me. So he would actually give me my ticket back when uh, we'd get to the exit of a station rather than me actually learning to be tidier and more organized and um, I just kind of became lazy when with that with those protocols that we had um, created for ourselves and just a couple of months after we broke up or maybe just very soon after we broke up I went on a business trip to Japan and I remember the guy that I went on business with because I was going as a um, an interpreter to go to a biz- um, a trade fair to be- to um, translate French to English, and the guy I travelled with he kind of gave me the plane tickets, and I remember just feeling, oh my god, he's given me the plane tickets, and this is back in the day when there were no electronic tickets, so I did feel <laughs> kind of I did feel um, a bit strange after my ex-boyfriend thinking that I couldn't handle an underground ticket. And I thought to myself, yes, I can hold the ticket. I am responsible enough. I'm an adult and there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to have control or control, not control, but like responsibility of holding the tickets and finding them when we need them. So that was a big kind of eye opener for me. And also more recently, I had um, an incredible, my last partner was amazing. And um, he was very hands-on in terms of DIY. I'm so not into that at all. Um, and that's kind of coming quite hard if you're a female living alone. But fortunately, he really helped me out with some things that I couldn't really handle on my own. And for example, I remember I had a block sink in, in my kitchen for um, a couple of times when I just moved into this apartment. And he really kind of helped me out. He was undoing all this stuff and then buying all... I don't even know what it's called, but this kind of really long... Um, like a wire that's kind of like a coil that you put in the sink um, for to bl- to unblock a drain um, to unblock the to um, how would you say it to unblock the sink basically and um, I remember I was um, I w- I've always been very very careful not to get my sink blocked because I mean I have a lot of tea and um, I'm eating things that could definitely block the sink quite easily so I'm very very careful so, so that doesn't happen because I don't have a guy to kind of help me out I don't really want to be paying um, a plumber to sort me out but recently I had a situation with my bathroom sink and I was buying all these products to try and unblock it and it just they just weren't working and for a few days I had this you know, water in my sink and it just gave me such bad vibes I was brushing my teeth in the kitchen and then I just found I remembered oh I've got that big um that big metal coil thing so I remember just kind of putting it down the sink and I and suddenly it went boom and unblocked and I was like wow I felt like I'm an independent woman I don't need to rely on um a man to kind of help help me with unblock the <laughs> the um the kitchen or the, the, the bathroom sink so that felt like um quite a liberating moment <laughs> for me because sometimes um i'm not really interested in learning all about those things i remember i had a flatmate years ago who said that she felt like a really independent woman that shouldn't need a man because she could change bulbs and she could change plugs and all of that i can't do any of that um fortunately um, i'm just thinking like lights don't really go off recently i mean i think they must last a long a much longer time than i remember them doing when i was younger but um yeah fortunately i don't really have to do any anything like that and there and i'm definitely willing to kind of pay someone to do that for me rather than um, learn myself um definitely Um, But going back to chivalry and feminism, I love a bit of chivalry. And I also talked about this topic with some male friends at the weekend. And I spoke to a guy who was very chivalrous, is that a word? Um, And he said that he had had some bad reactions from women when he tried to open a door or things like that. And and a gesture that came from the heart, it wasn't saying, you can't do it. It was saying kind of, 
uh, I see you and I want to open the door for you. It wasn't even trying to uh, make an advance on this person. It was just um, an act of chivalry. But um, those acts of chivalry don't make me feel like less of a feminist um, at all because I think I, I just love um, being a woman. I love being a, an independent woman. And I love the fact that I don't need to rely on a man to fund my lifestyle. So I want to celebrate all of those things, celebrate my independence and of course, chivalry that comes from amazing men. Yes, what about you? What do you think about this topic? It's quite a divisive topic, but I'm very intrigued to know what you think about it. So please leave a comment below. And if you have any suggestions for new videos, um, please don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org. And I'll be back very soon with some more videos. Thanks for watching.